Gary JRC here guys, back with another video. In today's video I'm going to try and give some tips on how to drift. Now I'm no self-proclaimed expert in this but I feel like I've improved of recent so I'm going to try and divulge the things that help me. Um, right in front of me I've got my XRX, this is set 98mm and I've got it set fairly wide. I'm using a Mercedes AMG GT3 shell which is very wide and enables you to get quite a wide offset front and rear. I think I'm running three at the back. I think these might only be one at the front, but you can see I've got the bars extended pretty far out, so got a quite a wide track there at the front. Okay, I'm going to get right into this. We've got um, some footage of me in a moment of trying to film myself, film the controller while I'm drifting, so you can see what my hand movements are. I've tried to commentate on it, but it's uh, it's difficult to do both at once because it's a bit intuitive. You can't always explain. It's like riding a bike, but I'll try and explain it here first. So when you first move off with these cars, you've got rear wheels spinning if you go slowly the car will move forwards okay as in it will go in a straight line and it won't skid if you've got your gyro set at about 35 percent 40 percent then you shouldn't get any wheel shake if you move off slowly as you start to move off if you start to put power on the car starts to slip the gyro will start to correct the wheels in the direction the car slipping so if your car starts to move this way your wheels will start to turn and you'll start to go into a drift straight away. Now, on an all-wheel drive car, you don't really have to do anything apart from just control your direction. The car, the gyro will do the rest. On a rear-wheel drive car like this, as you start to counter steering, if you keep the throttle at the same level, the car will carry on drifting in that direction. If you want to change the angle of the car, you then have to decide if you're going to exert more power, which will cause you to spin out, or you're going to try and play with your steering. Now, this all depends on what point the car is in the drift. If it's in a point where it's got plenty of balance, it's not going to overspin. Then you can give it a bit more power and the angle will increase. Then you might find a sweet spot where you're almost wheels are sideways and you're almost doing a side crawl. At that point, you can keep your throttle and steering in the same position normally it's sort of you're at full lock as in the steering angle and from there if you want to change how the car is angled you almost have to steer out of it steer out of it and the car will then you'll see in the video you'll see it do some twitches where i'm changing the angle and you start to feel the control and the position of the car you can adjust how the car is sitting just by doing these twitches so you have to sort of twitch into the turn then back out again so that you're steering in the opposite direction not where the gyro would take you with that you can control the back end of the car so you'll see me doing that in the video in a moment and you'll see the car kind of and then stop so it's kind of changing angle and stopping once you've got the hang of that and the feel of that the next thing you'll want to do then is sort of try and see if you can provoke the car into coming in and out of that slide and again it's the same thing to get the car to suddenly engage into a drift you'll find you'll have to blip the throttle, put a bit more power on to lose grip at the back. And that'll make you slip. And you'll see me doing that in some of the corners where I want to bring the back end around more. Typically when I want to change direction, you'll see me blip the throttle and change the steering angle so that I can change direction with the car. If you're going slow enough in a gentle enough drift, and I corrected myself during the filming of the video, you can change direction just with the steering and the car will follow as long as you're doing a sort of slow, gentle drift and the car will, as you decide to change direction, kind of f follow and go around but if you're going quicker the only way then if you're drifting sort of this way and you want to change direction and then go that way so you're drifting this way and you want to go that way the only way to spin the car around then really is to either brake or blip the throttle to change the grip to make the car swing the other direction a lot of steering input is required you can see i'm doing that in the video the figure of eight is quite a good one because that will teach you how to change direction then maintain the drift as you come around. So typically you'll be drifting around, drifting around, drifting around. And then when you get to this point, you're going to want to change to go in the other direction, blip the throttle, and then off you go in the other direction. Sorry, I'll take that back onto camera. So it's difficult to explain. It looks a bit silly the way I'm doing it here with the car. But a lot of it is down to how you control the throttle and the steering 
in terms of aggression. If you're too aggressive, the car just will fly around. It will just spin out every time. You have to be more gentle. And you'll see that with the steering movements that I'm doing. Okay, guys, I'm not going to talk too much longer here. I'm going to show you the footage. Hopefully, it'll be some use to you guys. I'm not sure how easy it is to interpret this or actually translate this into what you do yourself. But if you can see how the car's working, hopefully, it'll help you. So, guys, let me know if there's any other pointers I can give you with this. Um, I feel like I've improved tremendously since I've had the XRX. My drifting, I can actually do obstacles and stunts, or not stunts, tricks also, almost. And uh, certainly I've raced on a drift course in a battle and I've held my own. So, okay guys, uh, I'll leave you with the footage. Okay, so you can see how I'm counter steering to hold the car in its line. Okay. Looking for Okay. Let's move closer and closer to the corner. Let's change direction, get the throttle. I don't change the throttle and put the car will not control the transitions. See, it'll spin out. See, I have to feather the throttle when I'm changing direction, I have to be a lot more gentle and use the throttle to make the wheels bite. So if I go the other way, I just turn the other way, the car will carry on going the So let's try that now. So let's just spin the car around. Turn the car that way, okay, at a low enough speed it will. Okay guys, I hope that footage helped. Uh, that's all for today's video. Uh, if you like what we do here, uh, drop us a like, subscribe to the channel, and 
I'll see you guys all next time.